So we're going to show you how to put inch and power poles on your e-bike kit controller. You may need to do this if you have any damage on your two-prong mail that comes by default, or if you have a third-party battery and you want to change the connector for any reason, any number of reasons, this is what you use. So you use these uh, Anderson power pole connectors, and this is an Anderson power pole quick set, which you can find on our website. You can put Anderson in the drop box, it'll be the first thing that comes up. So when you get it from us, you get the quick set from us, you take it out of the bag. What you have here is a couple of housings. These are Anderson power pole housings, and they're androgynous. They go together like this. Uh, and then you have a couple of contacts, what we call contacts, and here are a couple of covers. So again, we're going to be cutting off the two-prong mail that comes by default with e-biking controller, and let's consider this wire just a uh, generic from your battery, if it's a third-party battery or whatever the case may be, you need to change it. So what you're going to do is, number one, this is the most important thing about this. You have to be very careful because if this is to a live battery, what you need to do is you need to remove the sheathing to expose a black and red hopefully or hot and cold and so you want to take that sheathing off you want to be very careful that you don't cut into the wires okay you don't want to go too deep here you want to strip this without cutting into the wires if at any point you were to just cut this and I'm going to do it here because it's not on a live battery but if I were to just cut that and it was a live battery you would fuse because you'd be making a connection between black and red here and you would get a big spark you would hurt your tools you might hurt your fingers um, so you want to be very careful to remove sheathing on this side and this goes for any live battery when you're looking for that hot and cold that black and red so I'm going to open this up not touching those I'm going to bend these down and I'm going to do um, a little bit of work here on the battery side keep them apart I like to bend one down away and you're going to well, we'll do this in a second. I'm going to strip that off. Before I even do that, what I'd like to do is these plastic covers. So you're going to cut this end off, okay, off of both of these. And you'll see how this works in a second. Use scissors, cut that end off, get this over. You can do this before you cut the cable and take off the sheathing, but you do that. Now, I'm going to bend this down. I'm going to get a little bit of wire here, okay, exposed on the black. I'm going to take this housing scoop side down. We call that the scoop. I'm going to put this over. Now here's a tool you're going to need. It's a crimper. Okay, and you can see that little divot right there. The divot goes into this separated part. There's a line right down the back of the housing. Again, keep the other wire out of the way while you're doing this. Come on here and crimp down. Okay, then you're going to use the bottom part, which you can see is rounded. The rounded part is going to go in to make that tight. So now you have that one housing on. Now, again, keep them separated, put that black one out of the way, and now you're going to do the same thing to the red, to the positive. Strip a little bit of uh, sheathing off. Take one of these contacts, scoop side down, put it on there. You have the opening up top, crimp right down in there, okay, and then there. Nice. Now, you have both. Again, do not touch them together. You're going to get relatively close here and you're going to take a housing like this. Okay? And you're going to put these in here like this, scoop side down. And you're going to press these and you'll be able to hear the scoops are going in and you heard click, click. And that's the scoops coming in and, and going over a little piece of metal in there. So now these are on securely. You want to hear those clicks. You want to press them down. You may need a little screwdriver to push from the top down on those contacts to get them all the way in, but that's it. Now it's very secure. Now you can come up and put your cover on just like this. Now you have a nice connection from your battery with these Anderson power poles. You're going to do the same thing over here. So here we have an e-bike kit controller, and this is the power line in. Okay, with the two prong brass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this right off. And here you don't have to worry, unless, unless this controller has recently been um, connected to a battery, then you might have a little bit of juice left in the capacitors inside. So again, then if you had that, you would wanna be careful here as well to cut the sheathing and then cut one wire at a time. Never shall the two meet. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna take off a little bit of this outside cover. Okay, strip that. Underneath, you're going to find the black and the red. I want to get a little bit more. Take that off. And I like to do it with the black on, the, on my left and the red over there. So I'm going to push the red down so it's out of the way. I'm going to, again, strip off a little bit of metal or a little bit of um, 
the coating here and the contact goes on again scoop down and crimp and then tighten it up with this out of the way red a little bit off scoop down and now, I should have put the cover on before, but I have my other cover. This I know is not live. There's nothing going on if I touch the two, so I can do it now. Put that on there. Then here comes the housing. Scoops down, top of the Anderson up like this, and then both of these scoops go in. You can feel them, and then you can hear them click. And you can see I have them both in there fully, so they're not going to come out. I can pull on it, nothing's going to happen. Now you see that I pulled and the black one went back a little bit to contact. I'm going to press again and get that click in there, okay? So there we go, very secure. Put this back on, this cover. And there you have it. Now you have Anderson power poles coming off your controller. You've replaced whatever damage connector, whatever you had to do, or third-party battery. Now you have two that will mate. And what happens is you turn one upside down, one right side up. Boom. There's your new battery connection using the Anderson power pole quick set. I hope you find that helpful.